Good afternoon. It is 1245, so it's time for our daily devotion. Um, today I'm going to take a devotion from the Lutheran Hour Ministries, and it's called Good News When You're Stranded. And I thought that was rather um, apropos for today um, as we're stranded in our pandemic. The Bible verse is from 1 Peter chapter 1. And if you call on him as father who judges impartially according to each one's deeds, conduct yourselves with fear throughout the time of your exile, knowing that you were ransomed from the feudal ways inherited from your forefathers, not with perishable things such as silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Christ, like that of a lamb without blemish or spot. He was foreknown before the foundation of the world, but was made manifest in the last times for the sake of you who through him are believers in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are in God. Having pur purified your souls by your obedience to the truth for a sincere brotherly love, love one another earnestly from a pure heart, since you have been born again, not of a perishable seed, but of imperishable, through the living and abiding word of God. For all flesh is like grass, and all its glory like the flower of grass. The grass withers and the flower fails, but the word of the Lord remains forever. And this word is the good news that was preached to you. And so then the author goes on to talk about this that says if he was stranded on a desert island and could have only a few treasure words from the Bible, perhaps uh, a little bit of a fragile fragment of God's word, this is the text that he would want. So in life's difficult times, especially like what we're going through today, this time with the pandemic, um, it's, it's we long for something solid to stand on. And here Peter delivers as he reminds his readers of the God we serve and the love he has for us. How wonderful that now, centuries later, God has the Apostle Peter, one of Jesus' inner circle, speaking to us. Peter walked with Jesus and spent time regularly with the Savior. They were close. Peter knew Jesus probably as well as any human who spent time with him could. And from this deep conviction, Peter, inspired by the Holy Spirit, drew from personal experience his faith and confidence of who Jesus was, both the Son of Man and the Son of God. From this fisherman of Galilee, we have good news of the first order. And so God has done it all for us, and he's done it very in a very beautiful way. Though we quickly fade from this world, shrinking like frail grass, God's word remains constant. And that's some pretty good news when you're stranded on a desert island or stranded at home during this pandemic. Blessings to you, and I hope you have a good day, and I would just like to end with this short prayer. Heavenly Father, your word stands forever. Remind us that the truth and keep us close to Jesus. Amen. Blessings.